D-O-V. You're waiting for someone to come save you. And you're waiting. And you're waiting. And you're waiting. And you're waiting. And you are waiting. You stop waiting. You become your best self. You start living your best life. You go on a date by yourself. And you enjoy being single. Which one do you want to be like? This is what the dress is looking like. Really, really could use this massage. Okay, guys. Hey, I want to talk. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk because now we are finished with the hair and the makeup for our date night with well date day. I'm gonna call it a date day because it's really really early. Um, go on our date is to hype yourself up okay in order to be happy single I feel like sometimes we wait when we're like not in a relationship we sometimes wait for somebody to tell us we look good when you can do that yourself it's very very easy you can literally talk to yourself in the mirror it's not weird it's not crazy um you can be like girl you look good like after you get ready tell yourself you look good and that's something I've talked about before tell yourself you look good um if you feel like talking to yourself is weird also you can write on the mirror and write really great things about yourself like i'm gonna do that right now like baby first of all i look good like <laughs> i look good um i am beautiful um i hope you guys can see that you probably can't but i am beautiful i am unique but hype yourself up. Do not wait for somebody to hype yourself up. If you are single, do this one, if, even if you're in a relationship. You're single or in a relationship, hype yourself up. Be the first person to hype yourself up every time, okay? It's very, very important to hype yourself up. Um, because if you don't, who, who's going to do that for you? Who's going to be the first person to do that for you? Who's going to be the first person to hype you, hype you up? Who's going to do that for you? No, you need to be the first person to hype yourself up because you, you took all this time to get ready in the day. You need to hype yourself up, okay? The next thing we are going to be doing when it comes to also hyping ourselves up, we are going to be taking pictures of ourselves. We're going to look good in our pictures. We don't care how these pictures are going to turn out, you know? The first thing I want you guys to do is get comfortable with your looks. Get comfortable with yourself. Get comfortable with how you take pictures. So you can take pictures by yourself. You don't need a man to take pictures for you. Or whatever so that's what we're gonna be doing next we're gonna be getting dressed for our date day with ourselves, and we're gonna take pictures and literally you can get a tripod online that has a remote for like I think like 15 bucks go on your day take pictures of yourself act like you are dating yourself because that is what you're doing you are dating yourself okay let's go 
Hey guys, so I'm at my location. We are at the movie theater, the dine-in movie theaters to be specific. I got my little outfit on. I'm so excited. Like, uh, I'm gonna see The Little Mermaid. Yeah, I know, a kid at heart. I already saw it, but I wanted to go see it a second time because I saw it first with my family. Now I wanna see it by myself because it was so good and I feel like I missed out on so many parts. So, yeah, I wanted to take myself on a date to go see The Little Mermaid or whatever. I'm so excited! <laughs> Hey guys, so we are back from our date. I had a lovely time. Um, now that I'm back, I wanna talk about giving yourself gifts during your date. Um, because you're on a date with yourself, why not get yourself some nice gifts for your date? You know, like just imagine being with your guy and he gives you like some flowers when he meets you on your date, right? So guess what? We're gonna give flowers to ourselves during our day also <laughs> i was like you know what it's 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 i was like you know what it's a me day so guess what i went shopping <laughs> i went shopping at this setting spray really excited but she only had the sample size so i'm kind of sad um not the sample size the the mini size then i got this but i also bought the mini size because um i wanted to try it out and i see it on uh, all over tiktok and stuff so i bought that and then I got this. I don't know. This was an impulse buy, honestly. Very impulsive. Um, this is by Dermatologica and it's a daily milk foliant. It said milk foliant and I thought that was really cool. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> so yes. Welcome back to the tip version of this video. I am so excited. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it, girl, because we got some tips here to help you become single. Um, that's <laughs> a help you to become single, help you to be happy in your single season. Um, I really feel like I've truly mastered becoming happy in my single season because I've been single for four years now. I've enjoyed it. I even have a video about how I don't even desire to feel like dating. So my first tip is to become the best version of yourself. This is going to have help you in your single season. Reason being is because when you become the best version of yourself, you have uh, so many things that you start to attract so many things in your life that you become happy for because you're like wow like i have truly curated the um my dream life or the best version of myself and you know like you because you truly became the best version of yourself you ha you have things around you that pour into you that um that make you feel fulfilled become when you become the best version of yourself you have a better mind you attract better friends mentally become different you all of these things start attracting in your life because you are the best version of you so how do we become the best version of ourselves right you need to be honest with yourself are you the best version of yourself do you have any healing work to do do you have any traumas that you need to visit do you need to go to therapy do you um do you want to like a nicer do you want to be more healthy do you need to go back to do you need to start going to the gym do you need to start um i don't know do you do you need to start eating healthy do you need to start what are the things that can make you the best version of you because when you become the best version of you and you're actually focused on becoming the best ver the best version of you honestly you you be feeling like you don't even have any room for somebody else because you're like girl i got things to do you know i'm over here working out i'm reading books i'm doing this i'm doing that that's how your mind starts to be like okay i don't even have no time to even thinking about to think about a guy because i'm becoming the best version of myself and when you become the best version of you like nobody can stop you in your tracks like nobody because you're like oh i have a goal here i have i have somewhere to be like i like it's so true when i started to become the best version of myself and started to try to become my dream woman and try to be um become just try to have my own dream life literally i i find that i have no time to even 
think about being single like at all like i just be like i got so many things to work on like whatever it'll come when it comes you know it literally it'll come when it comes the second tip i have is have gratitude for the things that you have in your life this one is probably the most important one because true happiness comes in the things that you are grateful for um if you are not grateful for the things that you have now you cannot expect to be blessed with more in your life okay if you have a room to sleep in if you have a home to sleep in be like oh my god i'm so grateful to have this i'm so grateful to have the house that i lay my head in at night some people don't have that you know um if you have a bed that you love and it's so comfortable and your mattress is lovely find have gratitude for those things in your life the little small things in your life have gratitude for that the reason why i do think this is a tip into becoming happy single is because you have to learn how to detach happiness from having a guy from having a man happy true happiness and success true happiness and success does not come from having a guy and i think a lot of women are taught that when they are younger that if you have a man why did I say man like that? If you have a man, no, <laughs> if you have a man, that means that you're successful. That means that you're happy. That's not true. You know how many people get into relationships and they're not happy and they feel just as alone? Like they feel just as alone as being by themselves. Like you should not feel alone in your relationship, okay? Um, but so many people feel like that. And when you have gratitude for the things around you, you start to realize that true happiness doesn't come from like a man but it really just comes from being grateful to even just be here third tip is having your own hobbies and interests this is so important because a, i feel like a lot of women lose themselves in relationships because they do not have their own hobbies and interests like i said we're not doing this for a man but look you have to find things in your life that you are happy about that you are happy to go do that you are happy to go um go to like if you have this yoga class that you love and i want to start taking yoga so i'm like mentioning yoga or whatever but if you have this yoga class that you love to go to every sunday say every sunday you love to go to yoga girl are you going to be thinking about being single no baby you're going to be like oh i got yoga on sunday i'm excited i'm happy keep busy always keep busy keep busy work on yourself work on the things that you want out of life work on um work on curating your your work on curating your best life work on romanticizing these smaller things about life have hobbies have interests and also romanticize your life if you are going if you are um going to wash your face if you love like if you are doing self-care so you're doing some self-care go out go to target go to sephora whatever any skincare place go get yourself some nice skincare stuff go get yourself self things that actually will like get you excited to do your self-care you know have like that's the same thing with having interest like i absolutely love self-care no way i romanticize my self-care i feel like i'm going off in a tangent now but this goes along with having hobbies and interests the way I romanticize my self-care is having things that actually make my self-care nice like a steamer and a face mask and all of these things. Keep yourself busy whether it's a hobby, an interest, or just self-care in general. Keep yourself busy. Another thing that I want to talk about is giving yourself the love that you need. A Let's be real here. Anything that you want from anybody not just men but even friendships you can give to yourself isn't that crazy you can give anything to yourself how okay if you are seeking love if you are seeking gifts from a man if you are seeking compliments from like people whatever you can give that to yourself you can buy yourself flowers okay what you can buy yourself flowers you can affirm yourself every single day. You can validate yourself every day. You can tell yourself you look good every single day. You can dress up and look good and take your own pictures and hype yourself up yourself every single day. You can give back to yourself every single day. 
even 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 things that you haven't even gotten in childhood you can give back to yourself you can give anything that you want back to yourself be the love that you have never you, that you haven't received be the love that you haven't received you know figure out yourself understand yourself build a relationship with yourself so you can identify what you need in your life you know if you want to spend quality time with yourself spend quality time with yourself journal um watch movies with yourself get your favorite snacks um you know spend that quality time with yourself buy your favorite snacks um you know buy your favorite outfit i don't know get yourself gifts do all of those things for yourself you don't have to have it from a guy you know and when you like oh my god you do not have to have it from a guy like i just you don't you don't you don't you could even give yourself security a lot of us are are wanting security become secure in yourself Become secure in yourself. Learn how to trust yourself. That's how you become secure in yourself. Become secure in your thoughts. Become secure in your emotions. Do do all of these things. And you will start to feel like, man, I'm so whole. I'm very whole. I think a lot of people become lonely without a guy because they don't give themselves themselves. You aren't truly giving yourself yourself. If you want to stop being lonely, give yourself yourself. Be your own best friend. Literally, be. I have a video on how to become your own best friend, by the way. But become your own best friend. Become loyal to yourself. Trust yourself. Be kind to yourself. Hold yourself accountable. Work on yourself. Become the best version of yourself. And you will soon to re you you will soon realize that you know you aren't lonely because you give yourself yourself every time. And I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna lie and be like oh there are times where you are good, still gonna be like oh dang I wish I did have somebody to share that with of course of course of course but when you do all these things for yourself you realize you can find different ways to cope you can find different ways to spend time with yourself and love on yourself and realize that hey it, it's coming it's coming you know and a lot of the times we don't have what we want because we're just not ready for them you know ponder on that really ponder on that like why don't i have the man that i i want right now is it because i need more standards is, is it because i need to level up my standards is it because that i do have standards and that i'm waiting for the best version of me to come around is it because like when you realize certain things like aren't happening because you're not ready or because it hasn't shown because it um isn't ready for you you will start to be like oh, okay like yeah you know think about like think about it like this like okay maybe like maybe my man is becoming the best version of him so that when he comes he's the best version of him and i can get the best version of him leads me to standards i talk about standards a lot and i keep talking about them because it's important having standards for yourself and having standards for guys the reason why this made me happy being single is because i when you have standards for yourself and guys especially let's talk about standards for yourself when you have standards for yourself you start to realize okay if these are my standards for myself and I'm not there yet I need to work on becoming that you know you have standards for yourself like being disciplined okay my standard for myself is to be disciplined okay now I'm gonna work on becoming disciplined you know I have no room to long and wish for a guy because I'm working on my standards I'm working on standards for myself I have standards for myself and because I have standards for myself I'm working on myself every day because I have these standards to uphold and to to, to give to myself when you have standards for yourself you you realize you, you got a lot of, you got a lot to work on and you know also when you have standards for yourself you realize that you're not going to take any and anything any and everything when you do not have standards you get everything around you but when you have standards you get the best thing for you you get the best thing for you so when i started to realize like oh yeah like when you realize like you know you're waiting around because you have um you have standards you'd be like okay you know it's, it's coming it's coming i have standards i'm not gonna budge my standards for anybody you know don't budge your standards for anybody you know and my last thing, which I already kind of touched on, um, but it's to just have this relationship with yourself. Fall in love with who you are. Fall in love with yourself. Nothing beats having a relationship with yourself. 
Nothing beats understanding yourself, learning yourself, having ways to cope with yourself, spending time with yourself. Nothing beats having that relationship with yourself. If you have a relationship with yourself, it's, it's so powerful because like, you no longer need people to fulfill you in the way. You can walk away from the, the people around you that aren't treating you the way that you want to be treated. The people that don't value you. When you have a relationship with yourself, you really do create the best life for yourself. Have a relationship with yourself. Get to know yourself. Ask yourself questions. Give yourself the things that you want out of life. Give yourself the love that you've never received. Have that relationship with yourself. Keep secrets to yourself. You will start to realize that you are just you are complete without without anybody. You know, you are complete without anybody. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't welcome people into your life and that you don't want to welcome people into your life. Of course, we all need people. We're human, you know? But when you build a relationship with yourself, you learn to be alone and you learn like, hey girl, you know, I'm just waiting for my tribe or I'm just waiting for my man and he's gonna come. But I have a relationship with myself and I'm okay with being alone. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy those tips. Um, and I hope they were helpful because I, yeah. I really hope they were helpful. Um, I hope you guys actually liked this whole video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.